you tell us a bit uh, about these beautiful uh, blue mosques in Istanbul? Okay, uh, now we are inside the Sultan Ahmed Mosque and the Europeans call this mosque as the blue mosque because of the interior decoration and the dominant color for this mosque is blue that's why most of the people is known as this mosque as the blue mosque uh, but otherwise it's one of the most uh, famous mosques in Istanbul I can say easily which was built by the order of Sultan Ahmed the first and between 1609 and 1616 in less than eight years and as you can see still a lot of people is still coming from all around the world and visiting this beautiful uh, mosque which is from the 17th century Okay, and Hagia Sophia, you can see over here, it was built by the order of uh, Justinian, the Roman Emperor Justinian. It was built as a church actually, but in 1453, after the invasion of Constantinople by the Ottoman Turks, it was converted into a mosque. That's why we have the minarets, four minarets you can see from here. And uh, in the same time, you can see the blue mosque your over there and the blue mask was built as a mask but the Turks I can say it's easily they were influenced by the Roman architecture as you can see the blue mask and the Hagia Sophia when you look together they look uh, very uh, similar buildings you can see the influences between the cultures mosaic panel just behind me which is from 13th century you can see daisy mosaic and on the right hand side from where you stand you can see john the baptist and in the middle you can see jesus christ and on the left hand side you can see virgin mary actually uh, some of the mosaic pieces are uh, unfortunately missing because they were some of them were stolen by the visitors but at least we have the faces of this beautiful mosaic panel and the, of course the human form depictions are strictly forbidden in Islam so when the Turkish Empire which is known as the Ottoman Empire converted this place into a mosque they covered all the human form depictions with plaster but after being a museum in 1935 you can we took the plaster off and now you can see the mosaic panels we cannot use plaster
My name is May I start? Uh, my name is Deniz. I'm an carbon expert here. And now we are in company Matis. We are one of the biggest loom operators and the largest rag exporter of our country. In this building we have more than 6,000 pieces and they are all manufactured in our cottage industry. In cottage system there is no mass production, no workshop, no fabric. Every piece you see here produced by the most talented weavers of the country. Uh, it's a very difficult, very complicated process. That's why just ladies produce the carbon. Our job is to find the young, talented weavers, give them, uh, giving scholarship to them. And after they graduate from college, they begin to work for us. And they prepare the carpets in their homes. That's how the system works. So we, when they finish, we gather the carpets here. We make sound taste, we make water test, and we distribute them all around the world. We have more than 55 retail shops in different parts of the world, especially in the United States and in Mexico. As a part of the show, we have a small room here. It's a small suit carpet, but these ladies come close and touch it too. You know, in Turkey, we never do shoes at all. And we, that's why we always cover our floors with carpets to touch here. This is all silk. We have the full material here. This is the full color. This is the model that we were made for us. Uh, we have more than 80 different cities in Turkey and they produce all their individual carpets. And could you explain that? You know, uh, different from rest of the world. In Turkey we just use uh, double knot. It's 3000 euro, our national technique. Iranian single knotting technique here. Most of the uh, Oriental countries they follow it. It's easier. This is Turkish double knot. Each dot you see here, each point here, equals to one knot. So we are flat as you can see. Let it in adjacent threads and each thread you see here it goes on it's like this so the weaver the lady when she finishes each line here she always beats it down like this pipe of iron hook in order to make this double mass tighter then she takes it scissors it cut the rest make the surface flat she continues like this uh, I told the just ladies to it. They go half an hour, half an hour, break, half an hour, half an hour, break, maximum three hours a day, five days a week. Otherwise, they will have high headache. We use wool, cotton, silk, but silk is the most durable material to use, difficult material to work on. So just five percent of the total viewers can work on silk. They need at least fifteen years experience. Now we can see another beautiful mosaic panel from 12th century. In the middle you can see Virgin Mary and baby Jesus. And from where we stand again on the right hand side you can see the Empress Irene. And on the left hand side you can see the Emperor Komnenos. Actually the Komnenos you can see uh, he is holding, uh, holding the money, the gold in his hands just before a very big donation to the church and on the right hand side you can see Irene with the new plans of a new temple and over here you can see another beautiful mosaic panel from 11th century in the middle you can see Jesus Christ and on the right hand side of the Jesus Christ you can see the Empress Zoe and on the left hand side you can see 
Constantine, the Emperor Constantine the Ninth. Thank you.